Let's talk about a very famous series called the harmonic series, which is defined by a sub n equals 1 over n. So every term is defined by uh, 1 over n. So the first term, for example, would be a sub n, or sorry, a sub 1 is equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. A sub, a sub 2 would be 1 over 2 right, which is one half, a sub three would be one third, a sub four would be one fourth, etc. So this is, the, this is the series. Now, let's discuss what happens to the infinite series or the infinite summation of this series. Let's think about does this converge or does it diverge? So I think the, the most intuitive thing here is to say, well, all this, all the numbers are, are all the uh, the terms after each other are getting less and less, right? So it seems like if we go to infinity, this term is going to uh, converge. But let's talk about this. Let's see if this is true. So let's see what happens for the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. So we're going to do this by hand, basically, and, and we'll see. We'll just try to find a pattern, hopefully. So this infinite sum is just 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 I'll probably stop at 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus dot 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 all right let's see if we can find a pattern to determine whether this converges or diverges okay so we know that the first term well that's just one so we'll say one and we know that one is greater than one half right so we'll just write that right there one half plus one third well we can do this on right here which we have one half plus one third we can get a common denominator this comes out the common denominator is six right so this is three plus two over six which is equal to five over six so these two numbers added together is greater than one half and you'll see where i'm getting with uh with this in in a little bit now, what if we add one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh together? Let's see what happens then. Well, one fourth plus one fifth, that's five plus four over 20. So that's nine over 20, right? And then nine over 20 plus one sixth, let's see what that is. Nine over 20 plus one over six. Six, oh, so we can get a common denominator of, um, let's see, I think 60 here, right? So we multiply this top and bottom by 3, that's 18 over 60 plus 10 over 60. This is 28 over 60. All right, let's add 1 7th to this. If we add 1 7th to this, let's see what happens. <clears throat> so what common denominator can we get here? Um, we'll just get a common denominator of 7 times 60. Let's see what happens. So I'll do it right here. So 7 times 28, um, that's 196. So 196 plus 60 over, over 420. This is going to be 200 and, uh, what is that? 256, right? Over 420. Now, if we hold on did we do that right 7 times 28 is uh 196 uh, plus 60 that's 256 over 420 yeah that seems about right so we know that 256 over 420 well this is greater than one half as well so the summation of these four greater than one half so if we keep going if we if we keep adding more numbers it seems like if we if we keep adding more numbers we can just keep getting a summation that is greater than one half right so what we can do is we can write this summation this harmonic summation infinite summation as as this right here so the n equals one to infinity of this a sub n summation is equal to one half right because we have one half there plus one half plus one half and we can just keep getting however many one halves as we want right so we can essentially write this as a summation of just one halves 
And if we just keep adding an infinite amount of one halves, what happens? Well, the series diverges, right? An infinite amount of one halves goes to infinity. So this series actually, you know, counter to, to, to belief, diverges. It seems that this series goes to zero. I mean, it does. The terms go to zero, but the infinite summation of the terms go to infinity. This is actually one of the coolest things in mathematics. So this series right here diverges to infinity, which is really cool.